This video provides an overview of the NGC graphic user interface. We begin in the Analyzer Operations screen. This screen is designed to provide most of the information and setup options. The information displayed in the upper right includes operational measurements and the date and time reading. The cycle time is displayed above the NGC graphic. It shows what the total cycle time is and how much time the current cycle has left. The NGC graphic displays operational data to inform the user of what mode is currently running and if a fault is present. The buttons in the lower right link to other data or setup information. Clicking the Peak Find button will open the Peak Find dialog box. The information on the Peak Find screen is used to locate, gate, and label components. Clicking the Calibration button will open the Calibration Setup dialog box. From this screen, the user can enter parameters such as calibration limits and the calibration blend. This is also where the user can set up a calibration schedule. Clicking the Diagnostics button will open the NGC Diagnostics dialog box. The Diagnostics screen allows the user to test and diagnose problems with the NGC. Clicking the Alarm Logs button will open the Alarm Log dialog box. The current alarm tab displays all alarms that are currently active. The Alarms Not Acknowledged tab will retain logs until they are acknowledged by the user. The Alarm Log tab keeps a record of all previous alarms up to a default total of typically 100. Clicking the Raw Croms button will display unprocessed chromatograms and graphs. This screen allows the user to view graphed raw data retrieved from the GC module. At the top of the screen, the user can select data from the current or the previous cycle. The rectangular blocks below the NGC graphic provide information and are associated with the particular stream number above them. The top block displays alarm status information. If an alarm is being displayed, clicking on the block will bring up the current alarms for that stream. The next two blocks display the last completed cycle's unnormalized total and superior CV values. The bottom three blocks are buttons which display additional screens of information when clicked. Clicking on Results will open the Stream Results dialog box. This screen displays detailed information updated after each cycle. It also contains previous calibration results. Clicking Close will exit the screen. The user can view the chromatograms of the last processed data of each individual stream. Chromatograms can be viewed by clicking on the Chromatogram block. The chromatogram data for a stream is updated after its cycle has completed, except when a fault alarm for that stream exists. In that case, the last successful data will be displayed until the fault alarm condition has cleared. Clicking on Setup will open the Stream Setup dialog box. This is where the user will enter specific contract information pertaining to the individual stream. Always verify site contracts before modifying any of the settings within this dialog box. The two additional tabs along the top are for configuring the order of the stream sequence and setting up a cycle. The settings in these tabs will dictate the order of cycles and when the NGC operates in Run Mode. When clicking on the Run button, the NGC will enter Run Mode. The example shows a typical operation. Notice that the indicators beside the button are showing both Next Mode and Current Mode. To stop the NGC from running, the user can click the Hold button. The NGC will continue to run until the last cycle is complete. Notice that the Next Mode indicator shows that Hold will be the next mode. When the Cal button is clicked, the NGC will run a calibration using the parameters previously set up using the Calibration button. There are four buttons on the left side labeled Stream 1 through Stream 4. They can be used to manually command a stream to run. When clicked, the stream sequence and other schedules are superseded and the stream will run indefinitely. An indicator next to the selected stream will become red. To stop the command, the user can click Hold. The stream will complete the cycle before switching to hold. Clicking the Show Tree View button in the upper left will display a directory tree on the left side of the screen. This directory tree accesses advanced points in the NGC like station and communications information. This concludes the NGC Graphic User Interface Overview.